What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Wednesday, April 12th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a six game slate tonight and we are gonna update these MLB stats to use uh, the 2023 data soon, but we just wanted enough time to get the new season stats under their belt so they're not too volatile here. So we are continuing to use last season's data until there's enough data here in 2023, which will be soon. And we'll post that in the news when it's done. So let's get, let's get into this here. Uh, last two days, last two nights have been fantastic. Uh, really hit some big plays. So let's keep that momentum going. MLB is actually really hard to be consistent because there is a lot of volatility when you're only getting three uh, at-bats a game, three or four at-bats a game. It's easy to get a zero uh, compared to that to NFL or NBA when you're on the court or on the floor for you know, 15, 30 minutes um, in, of play time or if you're getting you know eight pass receptions or whatever it may be. Only three or four attempts at the bat you know, here for these baseball players, so much easier for them to just straight up get you a zero and really hurt your lineup. But let's get into it. Consistency is hard, but we've been doing pretty well the past couple of days. So at the pitcher position, I like Clayton Kershaw. And he's pitching against the San Francisco Giants. He's only giving up a .619 OPS versus lefties, facing six lefties. And the Giants have only hit 27 of his last 122 pitches. That's a 221 batting average. He averaged 37 fantasy points per game on the season last year. Had an ERA of 2.28. He was fantastic with a record of 12 and 3, pitching an average of 84 pitches per game. So uh, this was kind of an easy pick here. I will try to give you a lower salary pitcher when I can, because I know some people don't like to come in here and you know get the stud pick right off the bat. They like those value plays, which I understand. So Clayton Kershaw, uh, he's playing in a game that Vegas thinks is going to be a low scoring game. 7.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over under. Now, the one thing to note here is that Clayton Kershaw, these aren't great splits. Um, he pitches his best ball versus switch hitters, facing no switch hitters tonight. Does uh, pitch a little bit better versus righties as well, and only three righties versus six lefties. But with these stud guys like Clayton Kershaw, sometimes you don't want to get too hyper-focused in uh, the splits because the fact is he's a good pitcher all around, so he can absolutely light it up no matter what. So I like Clayton Kershaw. Here versus a low salary batting team, the San Francisco Giants. Okay, now a lower salary pitcher, if you're looking to save some salary on this slate, uh, it's kind of hard to find, but I guess you would go with a guy like Dean Kramer. And he's pitching against a low salary batting team, the Oakland Athletics, Dean Kramer. Uh, pitching pretty well here, only giving up a .690 OPS versus lefties and a .707 OPS versus righties, facing four lefties and five righties. So he does have good splits here because he pitches his worst ball to switch hitters, not facing any switch hitters tonight. And Dean, uh, the Athletics, are only one for nine here versus Dean Kramer. Now, nine pitches, that sample size is much too small, but it is a good start, and I like the splits, and he's only 6,200 FanDuel salary, 700 less on DraftKings. He averaged 26 fantasy points per game on the season last year, had an ERA of 3.23, record was 8-7, 
pitching an average of 89 pitches per game. So his salary just sticks out as a value play here. So I like Dean Kramer as a value play pitcher here versus the Oakland Athletics. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I like Ryan Mountcastle. And he's got a 58% batting advantage here versus a low salary pitcher. Ken Waldachuk, Ryan Mountcastle batting a .693 OPS versus lefties. Ken Waldachuk pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, 64% worse than, uh, than his other pitches. And he's giving up a 1.024 OPS versus righties. Now Ryan Mountcastle is 3,300 FanDuel salary, 1,000 more on uh, DraftKings. And he is red hot here, scored 65, 22, and 9 fantasy points in his last three games. He was up at bat four times in each of those games. So he's been on fire, facing a low salary pitcher. Uh, you can continue to ride the fire. You might think that he's going to cool off tonight. That happens sometimes after a 65 plus fantasy point game. They come out and put up a donut. You know, so, uh, but I like his chances here in his matchup. So I like Ryan Mountcastle here versus Ken Waldachuk. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Whit Merrifield. And he's batting against a low salary pitcher, Eduardo Rodriguez. Whit Merrifield batting 10% better versus lefty pitchers giving up a, I'm uh, sorry, batting a .711 OPS versus lefties. Eduardo Rodriguez, uh, he does pitch much better versus uh, righties as he does lefties. Now his best pitch is to switch hitters. Um, so Eduardo Rodriguez giving up a .698 OPS versus righties. But I like this pick because Whit Merrifield is four for, I'm um, sorry, he's five for 12 with a 417 batting average and a 917 OPS versus Rodriguez. And he's sitting at 2,900 FanDuel salary, 500 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. Uh, he's got a batting average of 250, scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. So I like Whit Merrifield here versus Eduardo Rodriguez. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Yandy Diaz. Oh, wow, he's going against Chris Sale. I might opt out of this pick, but the reason that I picked it, I didn't catch that he was going up against Chris Sale, but I'm not sure Chris Sale is what he once was. We'll see how he does this season, but... um. Let's, let's go ahead and give this pick. So Yandy Diaz has got a 10% batting advantage over Chris Sale. And Yandy Diaz batting 10% better versus lefty pitchers. Batting a .892 OPS versus lefties. Chris Sale pitching his worst ball versus righty batters. Giving up a .804 OPS versus righties. So not very good stats here versus righty batters for Chris Sale. And Yandy Diaz is 6 for 14. It's a 429 batting average and a 1.214 OPS versus Sale. He's got a triple, two doubles, and three singles. He's 3,300 FanDuel salary, 1,600 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. He's been heating up, coming off of a 34 fantasy point game. And he's got a batting average of 296. So I like Yandy Diaz here versus Chris Sale. 
Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Now, I also like Justin Turner, and he's facing a low salary pitcher, Taj Bradley. Justin Turner batting 11% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .809 OPS versus lefties. And no at bats versus Bradley yet. Justin Turner is 2,800 FanDuel salary, 1,300 more on DraftKings. Average 10 fantasy points per game on the season last year. Has a batting average of 278. So I like Justin Turner here versus Taj Bradley. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. What? No shortstop? Uh, I didn't pick any shortstops here, so let's take a look. Let's see who we got. Um, not a lot of action here at the shortstop position. Uh, I might just have to go with a guy like Orsen, uh, Orlando Arcia. Uh, we picked him yesterday, I believe, and uh, scored 10 fantasy points. So he scored, let's see, he scored 10, 16, and 15 fantasy points in the last three games. Averaged eight fantasy points on the season last year. Has a batting average of 244, but I like this pick because the splits are good here. Orlando Arcia bats 24% better versus righty pitchers. Hunter Green pitching 17% worse to righties as he does lefties. Uh, so the splits are good. And Orlando Arcia only 2,600 FanDuel salary and only 800 more on DraftKings. So I think he's a good value play who's been heating up recently as well so i like orlando arcia here versus hunter green okay moving on to the outfield position i like austin hayes with a 62 percent batting advantage over ken waldachuk austin hayes batting a 0.702 ops versus lefties uh ken waldachuk giving up a 1.024 OPS versus righties. Austin Hayes is 2,900 FanDuel salary, 900 more on DraftKings. He averaged eight fantasy points per game on the season last year, and he's been heating up as well, scored 44 and 28 fantasy points in his last two games. He's got a batting average of 250. So I like Austin Hayes here versus Ken Waldachuk. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.